this is a quick overview of the inventory management um, tools in Aurax SDI. If you do sell items, uh, products, you most probably need to manage your inventory. So in the Aurax SDI system, you have the ability to manage um, inventory across an unlimited amount of warehouses or stores. You can manage consignment stock and um, assets or any form of item that you move from one place to another. On top of that, you also have the option to do small-scale production or assembly. So technically that means that you can have an inventory of raw items or components that you produce or assemble into a, another inventory item. And so that entire um, system can be managed inside the Aurex SDI infrastructure. Now um, it is important to note that both the inventory menu and the production menu has to be enabled in the system settings. They're not um, available by default but you just enable them. So inventory management is very important if you have a large inventory and it's also one of those areas like accounting that has to be done very meticulously. If you don't do it correctly and perfectly you end up with an inventory that you cannot trust that's completely um, distanced from what the real situation is and then you know it becomes questionable uh, whether you want to do all that effort. So inventory in all cases are also in the system managed per year. You start the year with an opening balance and you end the year with a closing balance and in between those two you do a lot of transactions. That means you move inventory, you receive and send and ship them off and also you can lose inventory, there can be damages and there are variances and this is how we manage those in the system. So first of all we will set up locations. Locations can either be a customer's location or an internal warehouse. The system will tell you when a specific location is an internal warehouse. You can create locations for vehicles, for consignment stock, for warehouses or stores or temporary storage locations, um, an unlimited amount of locations and once you've got those you can then move inventory and assets between them. Each location does have an inventory tab that gives you access to whatever stock or assets are available uh, on that specific location. If we go back to the inventory menu, you'll see there's a, a bunch of tabs on top. The first tab is your overview. Um, on this open space, it'll show you any warnings like low levels or expiry items with ex that's about to expire that you need to take proactive um, action for. Um, so this is kind of an overview tab. You can also look up serial numbers and lot numbers. The system can tell you um, if you've shipped a specific serial number to a customer three years, ten years ago. So it keeps track of all serial numbers and that is very powerful uh, for you to also manage any recalls and uh, those things. If we look at the tabs we start, they follow in a specific uh, order. We start with inbound, that is anything that you receive. So it's a goods receipt or a sales return. If a customer sends something back, you'll receive it in your inbound tab. If a supplier sends you something, you'll receive it here. On this tab you'll also see any pending purchase orders. So usually an um, inbound item inbound shipment would be preceded by a supplier purchase order. If we look at the supplier module you can see you can create purchase orders. So when you order something they will automatically show up in the inventory tabs, uh, the inventory modules inbound tab so that you can just 
pick up this purchase order and start receiving it. You can of course receive only partial items from a purchase order and the system will keep track of those. The next e tab is where you transfer items. So this could be either consignment, a uh, shipment for, uh, to a consignment uh, location or a transfer in between, between store rooms, between vehicles, um, all kinds of transfers of inventory from one location to another. The next internal ta tab uh, technically uh, is related to assembly or internal usage, consumption or losses. So let's assume that some of your inventory or assets uh, were damaged or used up or lost or you are in fact doing small-scale assemblies you can use this internal tab to make those minor or small adjustments. The Whenever you do um, a lot of production or assembly you want to uh, not do it manually here but you want to use the production module to do proper production orders and, and manage that from a, in a much better way. Then the outbound tab is whenever inventory or assets leave your usually your company. Outbound would not mean you send something to a different location that still belongs to you. Those would be transfers. This means you're shipping it out to an external um, entity like a, like a customer. So those would be good dispatches or purchase return dispatches. So if a supplier sent you a damaged item, you would be sending it back to them through the outbound tab. Whenever uh, there are sales orders in the system, they would end up on this tab and you can process them from that level. The next tab are stock takes. So stock takes basically means let's realign what we have in the system with the real world and so the result of any stock take would be variances. If there are no variances our stock is perfect and that is the ideal condition but in the real world it's uh, hardly ever the case. So whenever a stock take is done, a stock take is done on a specific location you record all the stock there and the system would pick up the variances and post them to your general ledger. Um, if, you're, if you do a stock take on a consignment location those variances can be used to generate an invoice, uh, a sales invoice and also to generate a new um, transfer a record, uh, a request uh, in order to uh, repopulate that specific location. Then this locations tab is a basically an inventory specific overview of all locations that belongs to the company like warehouses and their stock. So on each of these locations you can do a value stock valuation reports and movement reports and and and, and get a lot of information about your um, your stock and inventory on a specific location or assets. You can create location groups so you can for instance take a few warehouses and group them and then treat them as a specific grouped uh, location for stock valuation or such. Finally the inventory tab is where you actually manage your products, your items. Now this, this tab um, may not be some of these tabs all of these tabs are actually managed by um, privileges and and setups in the company so somebody may only it's possible that somebody only has access to the inbound tab or only to certain tabs depending on their function in the company and of course managing items would be a privileged uh, uh, action or um, function and therefore not available necessarily to anybody. So uh, on this tab you can manage all your individual items. Um, also some people may need to manage items uh, other than price or um, excluding managing pricing. Um, so that is also an option to set up. On the inventory tab you can do um, uh, adjustments, load new inventory, view price lists, import, export and such. 
as I say, this is actually related to a, an accounting type uh, function and therefore may not be available to most of your users. So the inventory module is available on uh, smartphones in the app, on tablets and on your desktop. You can plug in a barcode scanner and scan items quickly for stock takes or transfers or any other stock documents. Look up items quickly um, both on your smartphone, uh, on the smartphone, Android based smartphones especially. You can use your camera to scan barcodes. Um, so uh, if a rec rep needs to do a stock date take on a consignment location it's relatively easy to use the um, the cameras uh, built in uh, uh, the, the smartphones built in camera to do stock takes. One of the biggest challenges with inventory is to start uh, your year with the correct opening balances. It's like any accounting system. So the best way to do that is use a stock take. A stock take uh, basically allows you to record um, item levels and also serial numbers and um, expiry dates. So um, it's a good idea to do a stock take <clears throat> on the last day of your previous financial year. Um, this allows you uh, two things. First of all it gives you the correct closing balances for the previous year as well as any variances that need to be posted to your financials. And then the next day uh, would be the opening balance of the next financial year. And the system is then able to transfer those accurate closing balances directly into the next year. So whenever you start using the system you want to start with uh, a stock take of all your um, locations and then at the last day, on the last day of every financial year you want to ideally have an accurate stock take so that you know that your closing balances are accurate, any variances are posted to the general ledger and your balances in the general ledger are correct for accounting purposes and then you can start your new year um, with the correct opening balances. And it is important to also remember that inventory management have two sides. On the one end you want to manage the amount of items in specific locations and on the other hand the amount, the actual value of those items. So technically in this system we can manage inventory that is accounted in another financial system and then we'll only be relying on physical items. So we'll say we've got so many of this item spread across these locations. Um, the, the, those volumes can then be exported and, and um, multiplied with their values and used in your accounting system for your actual valuation. So technically you can manage inventory in this system and financials in another system.